As a company, we, we care about uh, the environment. The first real initiative that anyone has to take is uh, to do a really good assessment of the breakdown of their emissions. So, so the first thing we did was put in place a system of analyzing our emissions so we can then we track every day how people commute to work. We have a pretty sophisticated system for tracking that. We track how often people drive to meetings and back and what modes of transportation they use. We also track very, in a very detailed manner the energy we use in our building. Getting that information allows us to say, okay, here's the breakdown, here are all the important areas that we need to focus in. Uh, one of the big things that we did was uh, we purchased um, a hybrid vehicle. So a lot of our employees need to drive to site and to uh, meetings and other things to meet clients. And if you're having to walk to work, you can't really drive to a meeting. So we wanted to encourage people to take public transit, walk, bike. We wanted the vehicle here so that you could still walk or take public transit and then go to the meeting and then you have that flexibility. Make sure that you do a good job of being able to align the collection of information about your emissions with your day-to-day -day process. So if you can align the tracking for carbon with the tracking for finances, then you also can align the, you can make it more easy to get that information and get good information. From the beginning we uh, really were trying to reduce the energy consumption of this building so um, some of the big things is uh, we have a really well insulated envelope, window to wall ratio in the building, uh, we put in high efficiency windows. Uh, one of the more uh, unique features is uh, we actually have exterior shades in the building to keep the solar gains out in the summertime. Yeah, it's all Steve Carpenter's fault. He's the president uh, of Intermodal. He, I think he sat down with Mike. They realized that you know, what we're doing and what Sustainable Waterloo is doing is very related, very connected. Can, can anyone engage in carbon reductions? Can anyone make these efforts? And I say, for sure, and anyone can. What's hard is making a significant reduction. So that can be a challenge, but the way to get to significant reductions is to, to begin, to start looking at where your impacts are and start saying, you know, we know this is an easy thing we can do and anyone can do that. Anyone within the company can do that. And once you've proven that you can, you can make one small step, you can say to the people who are making the decisions, hey, look, we've, we've made this step and we think we can make more. Will you support us? And usually they'll say, oh yeah, I've seen something great here. Let, let's do it. PanelCap is a manufacturer of injection molded uh, closures, uh, basically caps. For us, hydro is our biggest, our biggest resource next to material and, and, and labor. Uh, so it was sort of, from a cost point of view, it, it was the place we thought we could have the quickest impact and the largest impact and the, and the most immediate impact. The hydraulic uh, pumps on the machines will run constantly and all the time. There's a time during the cycle of a making of a plastic part when nothing actually happens. It's when the plastic is cooling. On a hydraulic machine, pumps will be running continuously and consuming electricity. With an electric machine, during that what we call the dormant period of the cycle time, there will be no electrical consumption consumed. Uh, just like anything else, if you want to make improvements, you have to know where you're at so that you can actually make improvements. So our, our biggest adversary right now is the work that we completed on our carbon footprint analysis. It's very easy for me now to use your, the carbon tool through Sustainable Water Loop, do our inputs, and then track our project activities uh, in that software as well. And I know um, the contributions that are being made by those projects uh, based on the analysis work that we did on our carbon footprint. So we we're able to prioritize projects, we're able to look at what are the, the high consumptions of, of energy usage within the facility and and gear our project work or our improvement work to those activities. If the region is more environmentally friendly, we're, we're all better off. Over the last year we've seen almost a 5% reduction in our, in our emissions, so I mean that, that says uh, to ourselves as well as to other people that hey you know you're, you're, you're doing something you're, you're, you're walking the walk and talking the talk. The city of Waterloo owns over a million square footage of spaces so you can imagine the amount of utility bills that come in. My name is Jean Starchuk I'm a project manager with the city of Waterloo and I was actually involved with uh, managing the construction of this station fire station number four. And we're actually here today just to highlight this initiative because it is something that has a direct impact on the overall greenhouse gas emissions uh, 
that the city of Waterloo has as a corporation. As far as water resources, uh, we've installed all low flow fi fixtures and we have a cistern that collects rainwater from the roof, so we're saving quite a bit on our water consumption. When it comes to energy consumption, um, we've actually, I believe, reduced, I want to say by 33% uh, compared to your typical building, and that's 33% energy savings. Over the past few years, the city has definitely been focused on how can we conserve energy, how can we reduce our greenhouse gas footprint. One big bonus is that the city had adopted a green building policy in 2008 that all new city facilities of a certain size would be at least LEED Silver um, certified. We already had made that mandate, so it, it made sense that it would be applied to this building. Well, a big thing that we're about to embark on at the city is our energy management plan implementation. It's actually a plan uh, that uh, Council approved a few years ago with the goal of reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and energy consumption by 30% in city-owned facilities. So this includes arenas, fire stations, uh, swimming pools, street lighting, parks, a vast array of different buildings. So definitely joining forces with Sustainable Waterloo, um, you're getting some of their feedback on best practices to, ach to achieve those savings, um, assistance when it comes to how do you actually report on greenhouse gas emissions. Really it's how do we get that data into a format where we can actually report on our footprint and I think that's where Sustainable Waterloo uh, can come in and really help guide the city as far as how do we organize all that information that we have um, to actually put together a baseline and, and then go towards achieving a reduction goal.